What's up, Fancy Beauty Symbols? It's me, Gina. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to you as well. Don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell, and girl, leave me some messages, some comments, give me some likes, and all of that good stuff. Share the video. And what we're going to do today is... Uh, kind of a, like a, a surprise video because I picked up some things off of uh, I think it's shop Miss A and I forgot what I ordered so what we're gonna do is see I know it's some makeup tools and things like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use try and use everything that's in this shopping haul uh, in the makeup look okay so let's see what we got right so this is what the bag looks like this is what it came in and we're just gonna go ahead and cut that open and then see what else is in here and then it's wrapped like this in the bubble wrap. So once we get the bubble wrap off, this is what we have next. And we're just going to tear the tissue paper off. And then it comes wrapped in the foam wrapper. So they want to make sure your products don't get lost. All right, now you got to be careful what whatever you order once you open up that foam, okay? All right, so, okay, I ordered these Wonder, Wonder Blenders. I got two of those in a baby pink color. Uh, I picked up a fan. And I picked this up for my highlight, so we'll see how that's gonna work. Oh, actually got three of those Wonder Blenders. These are $1.99. Those were $1.99. Uh, what else? Actually, four of them. <laughs> and then this. And I think this is the makeup. These are the makeup brushes. Okay. So it comes like this. And then you have your foundation brushes over here. And then you have your eye brushes over here. All right, so that's one set. Then I picked up this set as well, Ova. Over brushes. It's over now. <laughs> Alright, so this one is uh, makeup for your foundation. And it feels really nice. Now you I'm gonna tell you already, you gotta be careful with this handle. So when you when you use this, you're gonna have to go like that. Now normally I like to wash my brushes before I put them on my face. Well, we here now, okay? So this another brush set. All 
and it snaps here and also here and this is uh, AOA studio okay so you get I, I picked up some um, shader brushes this is a, a tapered blending brush and it's the normal size you got some blending brushes in here an angle blending brushes in here some tight line work Every time I'm getting ready to shoot a video, here comes this phone ringing. Anyway, so we got some tight line work, and then you got a spoolie on the other end of that. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten brushes in here. All right. So let's put that to the side. And then I got these. Is that it with that? This is by o AOA Studio as well. This is now that first brush set that was in that um, carry-all. It's got that factory smell to it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, so this is made kind of uniquely um, because the ferrule is flat right here. And then this is at an angle. So that's pretty interesting. But I would use this for my um, under eye. And then this brush... It's made the same way so it's flat over here and it's still you know got that rounded edge over here and then this part is angled up as such so you can kind of see what I'm talking about right there and this I would use this actually to put my powder that fits in there really really nicely so I can use that for that this brush is a tapered blending brush this again is AOA the bristles on it feels really nice and this is tapered so I would use this for my cut crease up in the chair uh, this set right here is the one I was talking about that has kind of that um, factory smell. It don't. It's not. It don't stink like. Oh, I don't want to use that on my face. But it, it's just a smell. And these are. Oh, that feels really nice. And it's nice and dense. These are a AOA as well. So let's go ahead and take these out actually came just in time because my brushes are dirty these are your normal um, size because what I was I was running into a problem ordering on eBay um, yeah this is really nice there's just a little fallout on this one but it feels really nice and this, I'll use this kabuki brush for my powder, my finishing powder. And nice angle uh, brush on this as well. No, no fallout on that one. And then your eye brushes. These are pretty dense as well. So 
depending on how these work now this would be good for uh, your transition color just to get that in there this brush is an, another nice uh, tapered um, brush as well to help you get in there and get your work done for your cut crease and this one is a nice um, fluffy blending brush as well so this one I would use it for either up in this area uh, for also putting on the product for it like your concealer or something like that you can use that for that um, and I think that's it y'all so oh here one more this one oh this is nice this feels really good okay a o a see you over here this is really nice now there's a powder something dust coming up off of this i saw it on the other one too see this is why i like to wash my brushes before i put this stuff on my face Just checking to see if it's popping anything popping out of these. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's choose which brush set we're gonna use today, and then I will um, keep using brushes and then let you guys know um, what's what. You know, these I don't think I'm gonna use. today let I'm gonna hold off on these I want to go in with these so we're gonna go in with these and see how this works so everything I'm using today is from AOA studio okay so let me pop this sponge out of here and it feels really soft and this is the size of it so when it's dry so just right in the palm of my hand, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I've already pretty much moisturized my face. I got my Nivea on already. So I have my translucent powder on already as well. I just looked up at the clock so I could see what time it is because I gotta go get Little Man from daycare. Um. So yeah, let's go ahead and go in with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just gonna put that all over my lid space. I'm gonna try to dabble in all these brushes today just so I can give you an account of how they're gonna work for you. So let's use, yeah, let's use this brush. It's a flat top, like a kabuki brush. And let's just use this to blend this out. Uh, bristles are really nice and soft. So it's not scratching my, my face or anything like that, my eyes and blend seems to be pretty good on that so no no smell on the actual bristles okay so we're gonna work from let's see no pink something kind of soft all right let's go with a nice neutral look so I'm gonna work from both of these palettes I'm gonna work from this one my 35 P and I'm going to work from my 35B palette. So, yeah. Let's do that. 
so I want something nice and warm so I'm gonna work over in here in this this area over here so let's grab so I want to see how these work too so let's grab I'm gonna use this one because this is a good fluffy brush so I'm gonna go in with this color here for my first transition color now I'm just going to drop down and use that next color, same brush, and I'm just going down just a little bit. From where I place that other color. So now I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna try this color here. And that's gonna go into my crease. And I'm using that really small tapered brush that I showed you guys and I'm gonna go back with that first brush and just kind of blend out everything now with that same tapered brush I'm gonna go in with this purple color here All right, guys, now go back in and blend that out. So I still want it to be nice and soft. Okay, I'm gonna take one of these. And I'm going to go in with that same purple and put that on the outer V. My brush is doing a pretty good job of blending. So, so far I, I, I'm really appreciating the value of the brushes here, that I, the money I spent for them. Now we're going to go in and cut the crease and I'm going to use the fawn to do that. Now we have that set. I'm going to go ahead and pick a color. And I'm going to go in with this one right here. It's so pretty. Let's take this flat shader brush here and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick that color up okay I don't know how I feel about the application it felt like the concealer was still wet I don't know if it's that or the brush itself all right so I'm gonna use this face brush to apply the foundation so I'm just going let me put it on the face okay and get to work cuz can't fool around with this Fenty cuz she runs and it's not too much it didn't go in there so I think we'll be all right. I'll go one more coat and I'll put this on the sponge itself. All right, 
So, so far, I'm not dissatisfied. Okay, now let's work on the lower lash line. And I'm gonna go in with that deep, dark purple. And I'm just gonna put it on the end of this and see what happens. All right, it's kind of precise, but you just, you gotta be careful. So you, you gotta pet. So let's try uh, with this one. This one is smaller. So let me see. I get more precise. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm back and I got the lashes put on and I have to say they are absolutely pretty, especially with this look. So, yeah, I'm going to take my age with wine and use this to highlight under my eyes. And I did a review on this. So if you guys want to see my thoughts on that, I will leave that card over here or over here somewhere for you guys to go check out now I don't want to use I don't know how this is gonna do so uh, let's let's try it hopefully it don't move my foundation around All right, so that's what we looking like over there. It's okay blending, but it's not the best. But it doesn't seem to be moving the foundation. So what I'm gonna do is go back in with that Wonder Blend and blend that out. A lot better. All right, that wonder sponge, do it, baby. You ain't got to worry about it. She get it done. Okay, so now it's time to contour. I uh, really need to set that. I need to set that underneath. So let me use. Where's that one brush? This one. Let's use this one to set underneath. And I'm gonna use the uh, concoction, which is the um, Benai banana powder and the Sienna or Topaz. I do like the way that brush fits right in there and sits right on the cheekbone so you can get in there. So this one is a yes for me, definitely. Now we're going to go ahead and um, let that sit. While that's sitting, we're going to do some contouring and I'm going to use Mm -hmm. I had a brush I said I was going to use for contouring. I really could use this one, but no, I don't want to. Let's use this guy. And I'm just going to take my Holy Grail, my cover girl. It feels really good on the skin. The brush. Now, I'm gonna take that flat kabuki brush, this one, and use my Maybelline Fit Me Plus, or Fit Me Poreless 
setting powder to um, smooth everything out. And this brush feels good too. And then get some highlight. And I want to try this Lorac. Pick this up from uh, TJ Maxx. So, all right, guys. So I don't know where I left off because my battery died on me. So right now we are um, pretty much done. I think I remember doing the um, set, uh, highlighter. That's what's next. So I was going in with Lorac, and it's called Tantalizer. And this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna, of course, use this side right here for the highlight. Hopefully it shows up. Don't see nothing. Don't see nothing, so I'm gonna use my finger. That's what the product looks like, so. Subtle glow, which I met at. I met at that. Can you see it? Do I got a big nose, y'all? <laughs> I feel like I got a big nose. All right, so I think some of this would be cute on that. Um, Brow bone. So let's take some of that. And this is one of my old brushes I'm using. Okay, so not really digging this all that much. Just, I use it only because I spent money on it, but I don't see myself grabbing it a lot, to be honest. Um, matter of fact, give me my give me my my mommy child. She don't let me down. This brush, don't get it, because it's like nothing. It's not doing anything. So, that brush is a no-go. Tone it down, so. Just in case it's too much. All right, so for the lippy, I'm gonna do something neutral. So I picked this up. This is a Anastasia liquid lipstick. So it's a new color because I didn't want anything that's gonna clash with the eyes or the hair because we got a lot going on up at the top. So this is what it looks like. I don't know how that's gonna show up on me, but we getting ready to find out. All right, I said this was naked, so. Let me see. Mm -mm. Even with. All right, I picked these up. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. So hopefully this new shade in here will work. It's a trio. And these are the colors. So I'm going with this one over here. That's pretty cool. 
I think I need glitter or some lip gloss. There you go. Nope, no name. and kind of color it in that white because I don't like that showing up like that then I got a pure mess right here, y'all. Okay. On that on my makeup counter. It's a mess. It's a mess, girl. It's a mess. See what that did? Hmm, much better. I still don't like it because it screams you got on big. But it's better than it was. I'm gonna go back in this Lorac. Pick up this brown. Put that off over here. See that? You see that? You see that? See that? Yeah. That lip. I don't like that. Why would you make a wig like that and then make it a middle part? Thank you. 